And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Really not a bad way to start off the new work week. Plenty of sunshine. It was hard to come by anything that even resembled a clout this afternoon. Despite the fact that we had all of that sunshine, our temperatures really failed to warm up. Remember, it's the last day of summer, not the middle of October. Today's high temperatures seem to say otherwise. 76 was all the higher we made it at Huntsville International. 77, both Athens and Decatur, Arab and Albertville each saw highs of 72. Scottsboro saw 75. Fayetteville saw 76. Florence, good evening. You saw a high this afternoon of 77 degrees. How does that compare to where we should be this time of year? well below where we should be this time of year. As a matter of fact, the average high at Huntsville International is right around 83. Some of the traditionally warm spots still talking about an average high of 84 or 85, even as we get into the later part of September. Our morning lows are also well below average. We started the day at Huntsville International right around 56 degrees. We should only be dropping into the lower 60s at night. Average low right around 61. Now, of course, if you like the below average temperatures, then you're really going to like this. We're going to do it once again on Tuesday and even on Wednesday. Cool once again on Thursday, but the caveat there is it comes with a pretty healthy opportunity for some widespread rain. Temperatures do begin to creep up just a little bit once we get to Friday and Saturday. When you send the kids off for the school bus, maybe send them with a light jacket. Most of us starting the day in the mid and upper 50s with a fair amount of sunshine. A few clouds are going to be possible, and that cloud cover is going to stick with us in some regard through the afternoon. Despite all of the sunshine, just like today, temperatures are going to fail to warm up. We're only going to finish the day in the mid and upper 70s, though it comes at a rather appropriate time of year because tomorrow is the first day of fall. Fall officially begins at 831 AM. Contrary to popular belief, tomorrow is not the day when we see equal amounts of day and night. That actually comes a few days later on September 26th, when both sunrise and sunset will be right around 637 AM and PM respectively. Watch as that sunset time gets earlier and earlier through October 602, 437 by November 22nd, 440 PM by December 22nd. Off to the tropics we go where we're still talking about tropical storm beta has made landfall along the Texas coast. Right now it has sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. Eventually beta turns to the northeast, rides along the Texas coast, eventually into Louisiana and then up into Mississippi. Now as it moves to the northeast, it is going to play a role in our forecast across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. First in the form of some additional cloud cover through Tuesday afternoon. Clouds will be most noted across Northwest Alabama and then up into Southern Middle Tennessee. Futurecast attempts to bring a little bit of rain into the area as we head into the overnight early into Wednesday morning, but we are dry through the first half of Wednesday afternoon. Second half of Wednesday afternoon, on the other hand, going to come with the opportunity for some scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Better opportunities for rain on on Thursday by Friday afternoon, some folks across northwest Alabama looking at one and a half to two inches of rain elsewhere across the Tennessee Valley. Rainfall totals are going to be much less, especially across northeast Alabama, where it doesn't look like they're going to get near as much rain. Have a good look at the next seven days. Scattered showers on Wednesday, widespread rain likely for your Thursday. Other opportunities for isolated to scattered shower activity on Friday and then through the weekend. Let's look at your forecast.